it's time for another notebook paper perspective lesson. This time I'm going to talk a little bit about the magic X. So in a previous video, I talked about um, the perspective trick of dividing spaces in perspective using a diagonal line and where it intersected a center line. Well, that's just a deconstruction of this special magic X trick. And this magic X trick is going to open up a world of possibilities in terms of figuring out how spaces are divided in perspective. So I'm going to draw a line right here and this is going to be the front edge of a wall now that wall let's say it's receding back into space towards this vanishing point on the left and let's draw the back of that wall right there so if i were to ask you what is the center of this wall a lot of people i think visually are just going to go and divide this into two equal halves and assume that that's the that's half of the wall right this is the center of the wall well that's not correct, and here's why. This, is, this wall is in perspective, which means the front half of this wall is much closer to the viewer than the back half of the wall. So a little trick to demonstrate this property is to simply draw an X from corner to corner on the face of this wall. And when you draw that X, where those lines cross, that is the true perspective center of the wall. Now, what is the usefulness of this? Well, now that you know where the perspective center of the wall is, you could say draw a pitched roof and you know where the peak is gonna be. And that peak is much more accurate looking than if you were to draw a straight line up from here and draw a peaked roof, because this is where the actual peak should be. Um, but here's something else that's really cool. So I'm going to time-lapse this portion. Hold on one second. Okay, so I found the perspective center of this wall and again it's a little bit further back than we might assume it's going to be but here's something else that's really cool let's say you wanted to divide this whole wall into a certain number of spaces let's say it's five spaces well if you measure out five equal increments on this leading edge and then you draw lines from those points back toward the vanishing point like so then where they intersect this diagonal, that's where those divisions are gonna be. And so now you have it divided into five prospectively equal increments. But of course, visually, these are gonna seem smaller because they're further away from the viewer than these. 